Your Pain by Amado Guebuza. How are you ladies and gentlemen? I think you are okay. My name is teacher Karigo Doto Ngiti, the teacher of literature in English from Tanzania. Today I would like to give an overview about the poem called Your Pain, written by Amando Guebuza from Mozambique. Amado Guebuza was born in 1942 during the struggle for independence in, in Mozambique. He was a Frelimo militant from the early stage of liberation struggle and the later Mozambican president. It expressed his deep concern about Mozambican independence and showed his belief in unity, armed struggle, and sacrifice if they need be as the main weapons to overcome colonial rule and regain the lost independence. Mpenzi Mskizaz, wa Literature TV Online Media, ineo milikuwa na teacher kaliko doto njige, na penda kukalibisha kwenye uchambuzi wa shahidi pendwa, inalo itua your pain, maana yake maumivu yako ni zaidi ya maumivu yangu. Mwandishi ni Amando Guebuza kutoka nchi ya Msumbiji mwaka wake wa kuzaliwa ni mwaka 1942. Mshahidi huyu alikuwa mwanajeshi aliyekuwa anaipigania nchi yake ipate uhuru. Baadaye bwana Amando Guebuza aliweza kupewa kiti cha urais nchini Msumbiji. Mpenzi msikilizaji hasa mwanafunzi wa kidato cha tatu, cha nne cha tano na cha sita pamoja na wanavyo walimu wanaofundisha somo la English language pamoja na literature in English mshairi Amando Guebuza anatuambia juu ya ukoloni ulioenea katika nchi ya Msumbiji wakoloni waliingia na kuanza kuwanyanyasa watu wa Msumbiji waliwanyanganya ali waliwatumikisha katika mashamba ya lowezi waliwaua kwa wale waliokuwa wanawapinga Mshairi Amando Guebuza yeye kama mwanajeshi mpigania uhuru katika nchi ya Msumbiji aliandika shairi kabla ya uhuru wa Msumbiji wa mwaka 1975 aliandika kwa wana Msumbiji kuambia waamke waungane washirikiane kupigania zidi ya wakoloni wamechoka na unyanyasaji wa kikoloni Persona ni mzalendo au mpigania uhuru wa nchi ya Msumbiji pia hili shairi hadijalenga nchi ya Msumbiji tu linalenga nchi zote za Kiafrika waungane wa utoe ukoloni barani Afrika hebu tumsikilize Amando Guebuza anavyosema kwenye shairi lake you are pain yet more my pain shall suffocate oppression maumivu yako ni zaidi ya maumivu yangu lazima tupiganie Unyanyasaji. Hapa tumepata dhamira ya unit operation pamoja na patriotic. Your eyes, yet more my eyes, shall be speaking of revolt. Mshairi anasema kwamba macho yako ni zaidi ya macho yangu. Kuona mbali lazima nionge juu ya umoja na mapinduzi. Your scars yet more my scars ulibidi memory the whip huyu persona mwanajeshi anasema hivi makovu yako ni zaidi ya makovu yako watakukumbuka Wata Wata wanakumbukia mjeledi walizokuwa wakichapo my hand yet more your hand ulibidi lifted full armed persona ni mpigania uhuru anasema kwamba mkono wangu ni zaidi ya mikono yenu tukiungana tutaweza kuwa jeshi hilo imara mpenzi msikilizaji hapa ukiangalia mshairi anazidi kutoa hamasa kwa raia kuwa nguvu zake haziwezi kuleta uhuru wanatakiwa waungane kwa pamoja ili waweze kutokomeza ukoloni mshairi Amando Guebuza anazidi kutuambia kwamba my strength yet more your strength shall overcome imperialism 
Anasema nguvu zangu ni zaidi ya nguvu zako na tuhakikishe tutokomeza ubepari. Ubeti wa mwisho mshairi anasema kwamba my blood yet more your blood shall irrigate our victory. Persona anatupa tumaini anaposema kwamba damu yake ni zaidi ya damu yako. Kumwagika kwa sababu ya kupigania uhuru. Mpenzi msikizaji, hebu tuangalie figure of speech employed by Amado Webuza. First personification, example eyes to speak of skulls. To remember in the week. Second symbolism, example eyes represent awareness of what is going on. Whip represent colonial torture. Skulls represent effect of colonialism. My and you represent unity. Blood represents death or sacrifice. Third, imagery, example, pain that is organ image, oppression and the whip. Fourth, iteration, example, my and the you. Fifth, iteration, example, yet more, my pain. Let us look then. First, evolution or armed struggle. The second seems sacrifice. The third theme unity. The fourth theme colonialism. The fifth theme oppression. Mpenzi msikilizaji, hebu tuangalie message we learn from this school. Unity is very important in our struggle, in many struggles. We must let to satisfy ourselves. We must fight against all forms of oppression. Hapa ndo nimefika tamati ya uchambuzi. Washairi pendwa inaloitwa iwa pen yani maumivu yako ni zaidi ya maumivu yangu mpenzi msikilizaji napenda kukumbusha kusubscribe ku like kushare hii video kwa watu mbalimbali ungana nao unaweza ukanipata kwa namba ifuatayo 0676165579 au 0769471 kwa majina naitwa Teacher Karigo Doto Nji. Mzaliwa Shinyanga, Tarafa ya Nindo, Kata ya Liabusalo, Kijiji cha Mwaji, Kitongoji cha Magobeko. Mimi ndo manju wa Literature Tanzania. Kwa msaada wa kuangalia kazi nyingine, ingia kwenye account yangu ya YouTube, andika Teacher Karigo Doto Nji. Na uandike kitabu au shairi unalotaka kusikilize. Napenda niwasalimu wazazi wangu, baba Doto njige, mama peka luhumbika, wadogo zangu, guma hangaru mwaru luhumbika, baraka, pia wangu lozi. Wachambuzi, wenzangu teacher Hassan Lemunje, teacher Black, wengine marafiki zangu Timoro, Komukia, Moses, Adam Mteta, Gufla English Language, Taleta Dizio, Taleta Smiu, Taleta Mwanza, Taleta Msoma, Taleta Kilimanjaro, Taleta Mbea. Asante ni sana. Bye.